Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be doing a speed test comparison between the S21 on the left here and the S20 Ultra here on the right. So I'm going to start off with the boot test. And whilst they're booting up, I will just go through the specs of each phone. So the S21 comes with the new Exynos 2100 processor, whilst the S20 has last year's Exynos 990. The S21 has the Mali G78 MP14 GPU, whereas the S20 Ultra has the Mali G77 MP11. So on the left here we have 8 gigs of RAM and on the right we have 12 gigs of RAM. The storage on the S21 is UFS 3.1 and on the S20 Ultra it's UFS 3.0, so that may come into play during the test. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run down going through each app to see which one's open first, then we'll go through the games and then we'll finish off with a speed test. Now I have already done a benchmark test which I'll put a link to down below and in the top right hand corner so if you want to check out proper benchmarks then have a look there. But what I've done is set these both up to be at 1080p, obviously that's the max that the S21 can do anyway, but I've, we've also got high motion smoothness or adaptive on here which is 120Hz but it can change down if required. Brightness is set to full, they're both connected to the same 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So let's go on with the test and see how they get on. Just before I start off, I mean this is only for a bit of fun really, it's not a scientific test. It's always possible that one of the, my fingers will touch before the other one, so just take this with a pinch of salt, but it's hopefully going to give you an idea of load times, specifically for the games at least. Okay, so I'm now going to check the RAM management. So don't forget that we've only got 8 gigs over here and we've got 12 on the Ultra here. So I'm going to just do the RAM management for the apps and then we'll move on to the games and see the RAM management for them afterwards.
Okay, so that was pretty close between the two. The S21 did have every app in memory, whereas the Prime Video app seemed to disappear out of the S20 Ultra here. So that's a win to the S21 overall for memory management. So now I'm just gonna clear out all of those from our memory, and we're just gonna move on to the games to see how long each one takes to load up. Okay, we're just going to go into the training mode now, we'll just see which one loads up quicker. Okay, next up we have COD Mobile. Okay, we'll just load into a practice game here. Okay, next up is Genshin Impact. Okay, next up is Asphalt 9. And last but not least, Fortnite.
So they're both set to 60 FPS and epic graphics. So let's see. Now it will obviously depend here how quickly each phone can actually find a game to join. So this is just a bit of a test to see which one can load the game the fastest from this screen, for example. Okay, so now we're going to test the memory management for the game section here. So let's go back to PUBG. That's reloaded on both. COD Mobile has also reloaded on both. Genshin Impact. Has completely gone because that didn't even start up. Asphalt 9 has gone and Fortnite okay we're going to move on to the speed test now so I'm going to make sure these are on the same server which they are we'll just kick off the S21 first so my download speed is around 60 megabits per second with an upload speed of around 18 or 19 these are both on the same 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network so currently 31.4 is pretty bad I was hoping for much better than that. So I just want to show you here on the exact same network, I was able to get 64.5 on my uh, tablet here. So I'm not actually very impressed with the Wi-Fi speed. Um, so you can see earlier on I managed to get a uh, reasonable score, 54, but at the moment for some reason it has dropped down to around 40, which is the same on the S20 Ultra here. So overall Wi-Fi speed wise the S20 Ultra was better than the S21. So I hope you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the benchmark video that I did as well so you can see how good the GPUs compare with each other. I'd say overall the S21 did beat the S20 Ultra, so Exynos 2100 did beat the Exos 990 quite easily. The memory management for the apps was absolutely fine, but as soon as you start loading games, it all goes out the window. I would guess maybe if Fortnite hadn't have loaded up, we could have maybe gotten back into a couple of these games here. But as soon as Fortnite loads, it's game over for everything else. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I'm gonna be doing some more gaming tests with the S21 here, and I'm gonna be comparing it to the Snapdragon variant next week. If you want to become a member of the channel, click on the join button and that really helps out. And until then, I will see you in the next video.